Crocodile versus Hippopotamus. Who makes the law in African waters? The hippo and the crocodile are two of the most powerful animals on the planet. These incredible creatures happen to be native to the same continent, Africa. Knowing that both hippos and crocodiles are large, powerful animals sharing the same habitat raises the question of whether or not these creatures get along and what would happen if they had a bad encounter. The Nile crocodile is a large reptile that lives in Africa's lakes and rivers. It is one of the world's more than 20 crocodile species types. Crocodilus niloticus is the scientific name for the Nile crocodile. The common hippopotamus has always struck humans as a vaguely comical creature, with a broad mouth, a hairless body, and a set of semi-aquatic habits. A hippo in the wild, found only in sub-Saharan Africa, can be more dangerous than a lion. Size and Description The Nile crocodile is one of the world's largest crocodilians. This reptile is an excellent aquatic predator. They can grow to be 20 feet, 6 meters long, and weigh over 1,500 pounds, 680 kilograms. This species' females are noticeably smaller than males. The animal's body is streamlined, its tail is long and sturdy, and its hind feet are webbed. The reptile has long and powerful jaws that are ideal for catching and holding prey. These crocodiles can move underwater with an open mouth and grab and hold prey without ingesting water thanks to a special valve found at the back of their throat. The animal's body is grey olive with a yellowish belly. The hippopotamus's body is also well suited to aquatic life because their eyes, ears and nostrils are located on top of their heads, they can see, hear and breathe while mostly submerged. A clear membrane protects and covers their eyes while still allowing them to see underwater. They can hold their breath for several minutes by closing their nostrils. They can reach 3,600 kilograms, 8,000 pounds in weight. Hippopotamuses have very little body hair, a trait that puts them in the company of humans, whales, and a handful of other mammals. Hippos have hair only around their mouths and on the tips of their tails. To compensate for this deficit, hippos have extremely thick skin, with about two inches of the epidermis and only a thin layer of underlying fat. Range and Habitat the Nile crocodile is found throughout sub-Saharan Africa. They are most common in Africa's central, eastern and southern regions, as well as western Madagascar. Nile crocodiles can be found in a wide variety of habitats, including small brackish streams, fast-flowing rivers, swamps, dams, and tidal lakes and estuaries. They are frequently found in waters adjacent to various open habitats such as savanna or even semi-desert, but they can also adapt to well-wooded swamps, extensively wooded riparian zones, waterways of other woodlands, and the forest perimeter. The last Nile crocodile population in Madagascar has adapted to living in caves. This species' original range included sub-Saharan Africa. East African countries such as Tanzania, Zambia, and Mozambique are part of the common hippo's current range. They prefer to live in shallow water bodies such as lakes, rivers, or swamps because they are semi-aquatic creatures. Hippos are mostly found in freshwater habitats. However, populations in West Africa prefer estuaries and may even be found at sea. Food Habits Nile crocodiles are carnivores and scavengers. They eat a wide range of animals, including insects, amphibians, fish, and land mammals like giraffes and cape buffaloes. Newly hatched crocodiles typically begin with insects before progressing to larger prey. 
Nile crocodiles also scavenge or steal kills from other predators like lions and leopards. And groups of Nile crocodiles can travel hundreds of meters from a waterway to feast on a carcass. They will also happily consume dead hippopotamuses. Every night, hippos consume 65 to 100 pounds of grass and foliage. Hippos are classified as pseudo-ruminants, which means they have multiple chambered stomachs like cows. A hippo's mouth is enormous and can open to a whopping 150 degree angle. Their diets undoubtedly play a role. A two-ton mammal needs a lot of food to keep its metabolism going. Hippos do not eat with their incisors. Instead, they use their lips to pluck plant parts and chew on them with their molars. A hippo can chomp down on branches and leaves with a force of about 1,800 pounds per square inch, which is enough to sever a lion's neck. In comparison, a fully grown saltwater crocodile has a pressure of 3,500 psi. Behavior Nile crocodiles are solitary creatures. They can, however, be seen feeding in small groups of several individuals on occasion. They usually use a special technique to concentrate fish by enclosing an area of water. Then, dominance hierarchies decide in what order the members of the group will feed. These reptiles are mostly active at night. Crocodiles typically sunbathe or cool off in the water during the day. Male crocodiles are extremely territorial. They patrol and defend their territories, which frequently include a portion of the shoreline extending 50 meters into the water. They are exceptionally fast runners, and these crocodiles have very quick reflexes in general, but they tire quickly. The hippopotamus, unlike humans, lack sweat and sebaceous glands. Both species rely on water or mud to stay cool, which explains why they spend so much time in the water. Instead of sweating, they secrete a viscous red fluid that shields the animal's skin from the sun and may act as a healing agent. These animals have a social system that is adaptable. Common hippos are typically found in mixed groups of 20 to 100 individuals led by a territorial bull, but during droughts, large numbers are forced to congregate near limited pools of water. Because of the overcrowding, the hierarchical system is disrupted, resulting in even higher levels of aggression, with the oldest and strongest males asserting dominance. Old scars and fresh deep wounds are signs of daily fights. Now, in a battle between these two tough animals, who would win? A crocodile or a hippopotamus? Hippos and crocodiles coexist in a stalemate, preferring to ignore each other and mind their own business, neither wanting to provoke the other. Although crocodiles are longer than hippos, they're smaller than them overall. Hippos are nearly twice as heavy. They have a size advantage over crocodiles because they are bigger. When necessary, crocodiles can move at speeds of up to 22 miles per hour on land and 15 miles per hour in the water. However, they cannot sustain this speed for very long. Hippos can move at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour for brief periods, but their water speed is only about 5 miles per hour. Hippos and crocodiles both use their bites to finish off their prey. 1800 psi is the bite pressure of a hippo. They have 1.5 foot long, extremely sharp teeth. With 4 inch teeth and a measured 3500 psi, crocodiles have the most powerful bite of any terrestrial animal. Even if crocodile skin is tougher, this will not affect the final result. Hippos also have a frightening threat act that includes making fake charges and displaying teeth. They have a massive body, extremely thick, strong skin, and more speed than a body that size should have. Crocodiles attack by ambushing their prey, 
then tearing off large pieces of flesh with their powerful bite. Although hippopotamuses prefer to eat vegetation, they will occasionally eat meat to round out their diet. They are extremely territorial and aggressive, and the males occasionally fight one another. Their fighting skills are brutal and utilitarian, combining stomps, thrashing bites, and tosses into a deadly attack that only ends with them or their enemy dead. Their legs would be the only exposed area to an attack. There is too much weight above it for a crocodile to perform a death roll, but it is possible for it to bite a hippo's leg. Meanwhile, the hippo could drop 4,000 pounds of weight onto their enemy, or simply find the offending crocodile on the ground and bite it. Hippos have enough force in their bite to lift a crocodile off the ground. The crocodile would be bit, lifted, bit again, dropped, stomped on, and bit until it was dead. Adult hippos have even been known to bite some smaller-sized crocodiles in half. When it comes to wondering whether or not a hippo or a crocodile would win in a fight, many might be conflicted. However, the answer is pretty simple. Hippos would win 9 times out of 10. You see, hippos are much bigger and more agile than most crocodiles in Africa, despite having a bite force that is weaker than crocodiles. This means that if faced together, the hippo will be able to outmaneuver a crocodile. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.